So, sir, first question: uh, Have you ever been in India? I was in India one time actually. Unfortunately, I wanted to to come more often, but I wasn't lucky. It was uh, one junior tournament, and um, it was near to Mumbai. Okay. I don't remember the city name, and, but yeah, it was a very nice experience. It was a calm city and a lot of agriculture near to lakes, and it was very very nice experience for me. It was the only time I was in India. Yeah, however, I would love to repeat it in the near future. Yeah. So, sir, can you tell us about your background? About my background in India or about in table tennis? Uh, means uh, about your background, means your family, from where you come. Ah, yeah, okay. So I born in Egypt, in the north of Egypt, in a city called Alexand um, the Souk. This is near to Alexandria, the second biggest city in Egypt. And um, yeah, my father was working in sport. My mother is a teacher, so I got to know table tennis through my father. In the early age of three or four years old, I started slowly and. Yeah, then I decided to become a professional player after I finished my graduation from a business uh, university in Egypt. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, sir, uh, there is a question from one uh, user. He was asking, asking for uh, do professional players change their uh, grip during rally? Mm. Good question. I try to, um, during the rallies, I'm trying to not changing too much my grip and also my position and to try to win time and to give my opponent less time, of course. So any change you're going to do, it's going to cost you some time and this time will be for your opponent favor. So I would say I don't change or at least I, I haven't I wasn't aware that I changed my grip during the rally and um, I, I think some players they do it's clearly especially the forehand players when they, they want to play backhand it's automatically changed but I think the less changes you do the more time you win during the rally. Yeah. Sir, what equipment you are using? I am using, I'm a butterfly player since yeah. I, I was seven years old, <laughs> so I have, I have been butterfly player all my career, I'm very proud, and um, I'm currently using uh, Omar Asar blade, it's a new blade coming in this year, 2020, yeah. and I am using um, the Tenergy Hard in both sides, forehand and backhand. Okay. Yeah. So, actually, it was not so easy because um, with my uh, racket, it's uh, quite new and I have a big hand and it was always very hard for me to find a good grip and good hand handle for me because I always feel it's too narrow. I'm sweating a lot as well, I guess, same like many Indian players <laughs> and the country where I have the hot weather. So with my blade, it helps me to have more space because it's a bit taller in the handle, in the grip. And um, yeah, this is the only blade in the market from Butterfly where I have a longer handle. Okay. Sir, which sports you like other than table tennis? Yeah, I'm not um, following so much sports. Uh, I love to see um, tennis. I love to see squash. Uh, when I'm in Olympic Games, for example, I was a few times in the handball matches. I was uh, also one time in soccer match, uh, one time in track and field, just to get to get to know the life. Um, the life, uh, how to say, uh, to, to see it live once in my life. 
so it was it was nice experience but i i more love uh, or interested in the racket sport i would say okay sir is there uh, any dis- disadvantage of being tall in table tennis as you know i think you are also very tall yeah well i this is very common question actually many players they say oh, okay when you are tall you got to have some problems in your knee because you have to bend your knee and your lower back and so to be honest i don't believe this so much because um i, I can also prove this also the the small players the shiny players they also have problems everywhere yeah so i mean doesn't matter how short you are you're going to bend your knees you're going to use your back lower back upper back doesn't matter so i think the tricky part is uh, how can you keep everything in balance like training has to be synchronizing with your rest and your physical and your mental all the parts of table tennis or the sport have to be synced together and this i think going to be less injury and i think the very good proof for this is you can find some players who are yeah like training training very very much very often and they still fit they don't injure so often and also some other players they training less they train less and also they they injure themselves quite often so you th- there is no um something that you can gonna do and say ah, okay if i do this i'm not going to injury i think the best is to find the balance for you what can be the good mix for you as a player defensive uh, like uh, modern defensive player what is future of modern defensive player a uh, defensive player yeah 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 Okay, the modern defense who can defend and attack, yeah, you mean? Yes, 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 yes. What is the future? I think I'm I'm also I mean, yeah. I mean, you could also see it before in 20, 30 years when you watch videos, there were some players who some Japanese defend defenders who can also attack. I think now it's more often that you see the players who are defending they want to attack but it was always there. I mean I wouldn't call it a modern because it's always there. You can see some players especially with short pimples they can always change the spin, they can always change the game especially when it's a critical like 9-9 they always very often that you want to see the defend want to change and he wants to to attack more to surprise his opponent. However I don't know what is the future of it or 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 if it's going to be less or going to be more because I think it would be depends on the coaches I would say because these players the, the good defense player now at the moment for example Filos Roven from Germany yeah. um uh, Banos from um uh, Greek uh, Greece and um who more some Chinese players as well there are not so many but still um it depends so much from them because they have the culture of being defender players and it depends how they will teach the other young players to become like this could be one day that maybe uh, banayotes from greece decide to make an own school for only defense player maybe 10 15 player can come out of it you never know So I would really not say anything about the modern uh, defense player future because I think it doesn't depend so much about the players themselves it depends more about the the science and the coaches advices Okay So next question why Chinese is so good in table tennis like China is top from many years Well, this question I think it's um you can see it from different angles. I mean, why China is the best and has been always the best or has been always um uh, on top of of the spot. I I th- some people think it's because of the culture that the culture supports so much table tennis and they celebrate so much the champions of table tennis, they are national heroes and so on. I like to see it that way that 
um, in in China, the um, uh, how to say the the system is is very uh, unique. They improving every day, and they take it like a national income. It's more. I think it's a little bit bigger than a sport. It's it's like a national income for them. Most of the I, I don't know any top player who hasn't been in China before. I mean, most of the 100 players, at least they have been to China several times for training. I personally was in China for at least yeah, six, seven times for training camps. So I would say um, it's, it's a national income. They are very, they care so much about it and they want always to be in top. And they are never happy. They always want more which is also make them eager always to win. Sir, the next question is, uh, you defeated a team of all in 2018 World Team Championship. What was your mindset during the match? Oh, it's a question. It's actually one of the best matches I played in my career so far against Timo in 2018. I played Timo before this match several times in China Open and it's another tournament and it was sometimes close, sometimes he won quite easy in Czech Open. I remember he, he beat me 4-0 and I didn't have so many chances in Czech Open like one year before. Uh, the second or third time I played Timo in China, I had a little bit better chance than Czech Open. I was 2-1 up and um, I was leading also in the fourth set and then I, I lost 4-2. Then in, in, in World Championships, I started to look to these matches back and start to, to think, okay, what can I change now, especially in the beginning? Because Timo is one player that if he gets to his own rhythm in the match, it's going to be almost impossible to beat him. So my mindset in this match was, how can I prevent Timo from getting to his own rhythm? to expect a lot, to, knows, to, um, to know the, be the, the ball, where it comes, and to anticipate, because Timo is very good in anticipation. He some, sometimes plays the ball, so he forced you to play in the other direction, and he's waiting there already. That's going to be very hard. So this was my mindset. I don't want him to anticipate. So I was playing a lot of parallels. I was playing a lot of uh, surprising long services, for example, so he couldn't anticipate so much and I was always leading during the match you could see 1-0 for me even 1-0 and I was leading then he could win one set and again I was leading so I was in a good position all the match and he was trying to get me back and I was lucky in the last set that I could win 11-8 but very good performance not only against Timo but in general in this world championships I was playing in a good level now. I was satisfied. Okay. Sir, uh, which country you think uh, can beat uh, China in future? Again? Who? Uh, which country you yeah. think that uh, beat China in future? The country who can beat China in future? Mm. I mean, some countries, they, I am very impressed by their system. Germany, for example, they have very good yeah. system and they are also developing the system. Um, I'm, not, I'm not so updated about how the young stars are, are there at the moment. The good thing is with China is studying. They study their opponents quite well. They have lectures, they, have, they invest time and effort to study their opponents. That's why... Uh, Japan is also doing the same, Korea is doing the same, so I think there are many potentials that some, one country can come up to top of the of the scene or to the top of the spot. Um, but I would say, yeah, the, the um, promising countries would be Germany, would be um, uh, Korea and Japan, and of course, women different to men. I would say Japanese women are very strong at the moment, they could also uh, compete very well with China, Japanese as well, Korea, Germany. So this is what comes to my head at the moment. But I think China would always be a very, very hard opponent to beat for, for a long time. Okay. Sir, one question is that uh, do professional players use a booster in their rubber? Like uh, I have seen made video that um, 
Marlin was using booster in his rubber. Very old video. Well, I don't. I don't use. I mean, with Synergy Rubber, you don't need to use booster. It's already boosted. So this is what I can say about Butterfly, one of the very positive things, one of the very unique thing about Butterfly that they do the efforts for their players. They will make it as an easy job and also legal job. Okay. Um, of course, you can find other players who can boost. I can't say who because I don't have a lot of information, but I mean, we try always to keep um, yeah everything legal <laughs> as, as possible to be a good example. For the end player. How to improve footwork? To improve your footwork, you only have uh, one one way is to do footwork every day. Either in table tennis, I I would prefer you do it more in table in in the table tennis training, and also you can add more in in the physical training as well. Okay. But your favorite table tennis player? My favorite table tennis player is Vladimir Samsonov and Juan Glitzin. Okay. Sir, so next question. Your favorite table tennis player from India? Uh, Kamal. Why you choose table tennis as a career? I mean, I found my passion there. I found um, that I don't... I don't feel the time. Time flies with table tennis, which means that I often have so much fun during to practice, and I also can satisfy myself during the sport. Okay. The next question I have: What difficulties you face in your life? Yeah, some difficulties, of course, especially when you don't have uh, the professional work of um, which is famous i mean the usual work is to work for a company or a bank uh, or even if you're gonna do a, pro a professional athlete you choose soccer or handball so the the difficulty is to convince the people around you that it's uh, it's your work it's your passion and you you want to do this and you want to um, earn your living for it and you want to give it your time and your efforts, which is not so easy to make people understand. <laughs> okay, Sir, who is your inspiration? My inspiration. Mm. My mother is a very inspiration for me. Um, yeah. My wife too. <laughs> mm. And. Um, yeah, this I think the two I would pick, my wife and my, my mom. Okay. Sir, what is your plans for uh, Tokyo Olympic? Keep on practicing, keep improving every day. And yeah, I'm already qualified, so I'm happy for the Olympic Games. So yeah, this is my plan, is to try to improve day by day. Okay. Sir, what uh, advice you want to give to young table tennis players? Like me, I, <laughs> I I would like to say that um, with table tennis, it's it's like every sport or like every profi in 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 life. You you need to invest time, you need to invest energy, you need to be patient a lot. It's not gonna come overnight. So if you find your passion, if you find it, this is what gives you. Positive fights for your day. Keep on doing it, and the people around you will support you. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Have a nice okay. day. Have a nice day too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.